Hello everybody and welcome. It's been a while, so uh what do you think? Uh yeah. So I'm back and we're here for another new deck tech and it's called Simic Ventures. Uh Simic Adventures, uh, it's very easy, you just put in small threats, put in Toski, ramp up. Cast your all runes and swing for maximum value. I also have one comma. So the deck is very it's very linear. You just Yeah uh, It's very linear and it's very easy to pilot. Uh just put in small efficient creatures with pseudo evasion. Put in Toski. Uh ramp up just to go to Alarun's Epiphany and from there, you get maximum value and end the game uh, by uh, tapping all blockers and all. And you have uh, pseudo evasion with... So we have edge wall innkeeper. We have primal might. Uh, we have fail wishes that can get to our sideboard, which we will talk about in a while. Inscription of abundance uh, is another removal plus uh, one up. Uh, spell for your small creatures. You have Brazen Borrower for tempo, just slowing down the game. Saw it coming for the counters. Lovestruck Beast for that 1-1 one, one, and that 5-5, five, five, which is very efficient. One of the best creatures in current standard right now. Uh, we have Kazandu Mammoth, which acts also as a land early on. And if you can put one in and it lives, uh, you have lots of opportunities to pump it up. And we have Toski, the squirrel, the magical squirrel, where when you have uh, those uh, creatures lying around, it gives added value. Uh, it becomes a blocker the time you cast it. And then you, um, what do you call it? Then you swing for maximum value. You have Alrun's Epiphany, which is our payoff for our ramp. It creates two tokens which also acts as another card draw engine for Toski. Uh, we have one Cosma, a comma, comma, sorry. We have one comma uh, for the values, for the three trees, and also uh, it's a big threat. And we have the Great Hench just to put an extra bump into the creatures that we have in the main board. Then we have a basic uh, land cycle of six, island seven forest, Four Bar Channel Pathway, uh, three Temple of Mystery, and four Fabled Passage. Then we have like Tormod Scripts, Turn Dismissal, uh, Chain Web Arachnir in the sideboard, Run of Foul, Disdain Stroke, Negate, Ram Through, Wilt, Mystical Dispute, which we can fetch with Fail Wishes. But right now we're just gonna play uh, Best of One. And from there, ooh, there's so many decks. And from there we will see where the rabbit hole goes. Uh, yeah. So we're gonna go ranked, and we're just gonna. Play. We have a bunch of decks also lined up, and it's just tonight that I was really, really in a very good mood to make videos for everybody to like scrutinize and talk about while we wait, and uh, yeah, and maybe I'll make a video on the current spoilers for Time Spiral and comment about what's happening in time spiral i'm very excited i hope i can play some rounds uh with uh what do you call it so we can go with this one first yeah we're against kumaha Am I right? I forgot. So, we have a Frost Augur. Not really gonna force the issue. I think this is Mono Blue Devotion. Not really sure. We'll see. We will not attack. Because what we can do is. Yeah, this is a pump spell at instant. At 5 mana. So much power. Uh, the idea of the deck is like, oh, okay, I get this. This is the Simic Snow. I think this is Sultai Snow. 
We're just gonna take one for now. Ooh, there's a fail wishes uh, for our. But we just need to keep on uh, drawing cards and making sure that we get our mana for Alarun's Epiphany and Toski. Oh, this one's. Oh, this can become a 2 3, I think. Oh, there's one. So, what we can do is. Ah, oh, we could have put the Kasandu moment. So we're just gonna. This becomes a 2 3. We can swing with Lobstruck Beast just to assert dominance. Uh, we could Alrod's Epiphany, but we can do it next turn. Uh, inscription above. If we get a. If we get a land, which with the help of Edgewall Innkeeper is getting us into the game. Ooh, another one. Ooh, that's so nice. So next turn we can just put a uh, Kazandu Mammoth or an uh, untapped land. Then we can use this to fight. He can block. Yeah. He needs to go level one. So this is a figure of destiny. So he's going level one with this. Next turn he'll make it into a four four. He has enough mana for it. Then, yeah, he can untap and use Frost Augur. Augur. I have no idea uh, with how to pronounce it. Oh. Yeah. Oh, it's very nice. So we have the manas. We can fight it, or we can just cast Kasandu Mammoth with um with one. Yeah, yeah, we can do that. Cast this guy. Then we could. Yeah. And we will not attack. This becomes a 4-4, four, four, which becomes a 6-6 six, six next turn. Ooh, it's gonna hurt. It is going to hurt. But if all he does would be this one. So... We... Yeah. Or he will do it end of turn. But if he has counter spells, then that would be a big problem for us. Ooh, snow just doing heavy li heavy lifting. So yeah. Another one. Oh dear me. We can make it into a four four on this turn. Well, what we can do is if he tries to make it into a 6-6, six, six, he can fight it. Yeah, we could attack him. And we'll see from there. Um, Tarapa gains X life or X is the greatest power among creatures to control and choose any number. Of okay, he's gonna pump it. One, two, three. Put 
quick bouncers, so we're gonna put it here and here. Ah, then target clear game slide. And target clear control. can only make three manas. So you technically wasted two cards for my one card. Just waiting for him to, you know, use this three. Resources, so. Counter spells abound. Sheesh. Okay, so we can still draw and put another ultimate. can make this into a 6-6. Six, six. He will... Wow. We should have... Ah, no, no. Six six will not force the issue. We're gonna let him swing. Okay. He's gonna make the other one also. Then he can also put poker at the same time. Ooh, yeah. It's not snow. He's gonna attack. Uh, we're not gonna block because we don't have open mana. So technically, we can bait him with a one fifty four. Oh, we are we don't have enough mana. I forgot my sideboard. Uh, don't have enough money. Come on. Come on. Yeah, we could just cast it. Each creature in my party. Wizard, Rogue, Warrior. Oh no, that's party. Oh yeah, so three. This can become a four. And this won't. This will become a four. Four. He has to block.
we can we can all, we can just block the six six. <laughs> or if he can bounce it, uh, we're gonna be in big trouble. gonna attack and down to one you can block this one yeah he has enough manas to he gained like six life darn so he's not gonna block Take six. You can block one threat, and he will take a lot of. Ah, uh, he can block two threats. By the way, sorry. So we're gonna test this one. It was a nice victory just casting the mythic time walk spell. It so feels good, ladies and gentlemen. And that's uh, actually that's the whole gist of the uh, of the of the deck. Uh, we did not see Toski uh, around, but uh, yeah. Uh, but all you have to do is this ramp, draw cards, cast your time walk. So like it's like the Edric of standard where you just draw. With... Ooh, we got mythic. Yes, refreshed ang ating uh, wild cards. And that's the deck. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye.